what makes a good traveler? Well, the answer lies in a great journey. So let us embark on a journey on a truly wonderful train that offers everything a traveler could possibly ask for. Relish the lifestyles of the kings and the golden chariot while listening to the silent tales of glory and valor told by the majestic palaces, splendid temples and virgin forests of Karnataka. Discover the golden land, rediscover your senses. This regal journey begins in the city of Gardens, Bangalore. As the setting sun rests itself on the horizons of the city skyline, the Golden Chariot enters the railway station. On arrival at the station, there was a surprise. The warmth of Karnataka hospitality and custom of welcoming guests is as old as time itself. The theme recreates the ambience of the welcome accorded to a king. Thank you. Now that's what I call a real royal welcome. And you know the greatest thing? One doesn't even need to dress up for this. Cheers. One of the most awe-inspiring special evenings one can witness is right here on the Golden Chariot. Considered one of the most luxurious train journeys in the world, I for one just cannot resist the excitement of exploring this train. Can you believe it? This is a normal train that has been transformed into this luxurious splendor. The train is fully self-sufficient and comprises 11 luxury air-conditioned saloons. Each saloon highlights the cultural ethos of Karnataka, facilitated with all modern-day amenities of everyday life. You know, I'm really impressed with what I've seen so far on the Golden Chariot. Now, this train actually has two separate routes. The one I've chosen is called the Pride of the South. It goes through all the famous places in Karnataka, touches Goa and then culminates back in Bangalore. And the other route is called Southern Splendor, which does other states in South India. Honestly, sometimes in the near future, I'm going to have to check that out as well. Should we try one without peeping? Can I look silly? Its well-stocked bar serves a variety of liquors, wine, and even cocktails. In fact, the train ensures that passengers don't miss out on any facilities. A spa, state-of-the-art gym, and a business center offers internet facilities. Now this is really interesting. On board the Golden Chariot, they've named individual bogies after dynasties of Karnataka. Look, the Kadamba dynasty, my home for the next seven days. The train has two restaurants come kitchen, offering traditional, Indian, continental, and of course Chinese cuisine with the chef's special variety of the day. Didn't I tell you? Fit for a king. Bon appetit. Fantastic. Truly fantastic. From a royal meal to a royal suite. Time now to jump into bed. Wow. Wow. Check it out. Fantastic, huh? Hmm? You know, this isn't just a train. It's more like a luxury five-star hotel on wheels, huh? Beautiful, traditional welcome to start you off. Lovely, civilized cocktail. That scrumptious meal. And then, this lovely, cozy nest to bed down in. Tomorrow's a really busy and exciting day. I got a bit of reading to do. And of course, time for my beauty sleep. So good night, and see you in the morning. After a good night's sleep in this luxurious train, one wakes up literally in a new world. A new world of indulgence, grandeur and lavishness.
time to experience the royal extravaganza in Mysore, the first destination of this royal journey. You know, with all the hectic pre-departure activity last night, I didn't get a true chance to appreciate the magnificence of this train from the outside. But wow, now that I get a chance to really look at it, it's truly deserving of its name, don't you think? The Golden Chariot. From one chariot to another. We've arrived in Mysore, the city of Maharajas, and you know what? I can already smell the famous Mysore Malage, the jasmine flowers. Truly a fragrant welcome. Ongana Guru! The cultural capital of Karnataka. A clean, well-planned city with a heritage feel, and of course, a quaint charm to it. When one travels in Mysore, one gets the perfect chance to relive the era when kings and queens ruled, when royalty spelt magic, and of course, there's a certain mysticism in the air. Outstanding. The famous Mysore Palace, home of the Woodyers who ruled Mysore for more than 500 years. This is, this is truly a spectacular structure. Let's take a look. Starting from the Grand Darbar, ornate glass ceilings, exquisite frescoes, sculpted pillars, and of course, the Maharaja's throne. It is a place not to be missed. This is undoubtedly one of the most magnificent buildings I've seen in my entire life. It is believed that this palace was built in wood. Unfortunately, it got burnt down in 1897. This new palace has been designed by a famous English architect, Henry Irvin, and rebuilt in 1912. Mysore Palace is truly a feast for the eyes. Ivory inlaid in rosewood. Spectacular. Viewing such intricate and detailed work, it seems God lives in the details. Even today, you can find the artisans are creating these masterpieces learned from their forefathers. I feel incomplete without meeting these artisans. More of Karnataka's hidden treasures and, of course, unsung heroes. Look at this artiste, just look at him. Look at the focus, the concentration with which he's working. It seems the Maharajas of Mysore have certainly left a legacy of their arts behind. I could quite get used to this. It's uh, almost therapeutic in a way. Sweaty work. Pasha bhai, yaar, apna kaam kaise laga? Thik hai? Ah, kya baat karte ho, sir? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Karnataka is also blessed with many fascinating worlds. Lush green forests, amazing wildlife for instance. Kabini too is one such delight. Less than two hour drive from Mysore, this place was once used to be Mysore Maharaja's private hunting ground. Fantastic, did you hear the music of the bird song? This sanctuary is home to a rich variety of birds and a number of rare species of animals. As Kabini is home to one of the largest population of Asiatic elephants, we followed the trail along the backwaters and spotted a herd of these magnificent beasts. You 
I've spotted the elephant. Lovely dusk are there. But where are the tigers? As we were nearing the end of our safari, it seemed luck was on our side. We spotted some bug marks of a tiger, which means it could be nearby. We couldn't believe our eyes. How lucky are we? Seeing a tiger in its own den is truly an awesome experience. If one is looking for variety in travel experience, Karnataka fits up extremely nicely. In just two days, I've got a glimpse of this golden land in its myriad form. There is just so much to see, so much to experience, and so much to discover. Hey, this is unexpected. While adding more excitement to the journey, the Golden Chariot carried a Mendy session exclusively for ladies. I invited my friend Suzanne to get it done on her hands to let her feel like an Indian woman. What are you saying? I said make sure it's pretty. Uh, thank you. I could see the sense of excitement all around. You know, in fact, if you like, she can even write your name on your hand. <laughs> They're, they're beautiful. And I hope it lasts until I get home. So I'd like to show some people at home. <laughs> the ladies here really enjoyed the whole experience of getting the Indian version of a tattoo. <laughs> While exploring Karnataka on the Golden Chariot, a heart-rendering trip to Shravana Bilagula to visit Bahubali goes perfectly well. To see the gem of calm, you have to climb over 650 steps. Let's go! Climbing up the hill is not an easy task. One needs a lot of dedication and patience. That's what the essence of penance means. Equanimity and purity. As you enter, you are greeted by an astonishing view of the colossal Baubali. Carved out of a single piece of rock, this monolith statue, regarded as one of the largest in the world, stands proud almost 18 meters, 60 feet. Magnificent. Legend has it that Bhaubali vanquished his elder brother in battle. But his victory gave him a spiritual insight and he decided to return the kingdom to his brother and lead a peaceful and meditative life. His example appealed to many. It is believed that hundreds of years later, the famous emperor Chandragupta Maurya retired here to become a Jain seat by handing his kingdom to his son, Bindusara. There is majestic charm and beauty spread lavishly all over this golden land. For instance, Belur and Halipiru, which are just a few hours drive from Shravana Belagola. From the sheer grandeur of Bahubali to the exquisite intricacy of Darpana Sundari. It is believed that the inspiration of this sculpture was the dazzling beauty of Shantala Devi, the queen of King Vishnu Vardhana of the Hoysala dynasty. Belur and Halibiru were once the capitals of the Hoysala Empire. Having the best examples of Hoysala architecture, the temples are truly marvelous and one should not miss out on visiting them. Only a seasoned connoisseur can appreciate the true art of indulgence. Its nuances, its subtleties, its grace. On the Golden Chariot, food is always a curiosity. What is cooking today? How are these guys preparing it? Curiosity finally got the better of me. I'm thinking, every single day we're eating such delicious khana. Where's it all coming from? Come on, Al boy. Got to check out the kitchen. And what a cool, swanky kitchen it is, but not the steadiest. Frying, shimmering, sizzling, and flopping at these deliciously diverse variety of dishes.
Feasting our way through the Deccan Plateau is certainly one hell of a ride. Someone once said, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. But what is the way to his mind? Let's find out. After that scrumptious dinner, Golden Chariot has thrown a party for us all. That night, we all rocked. And after that fantastic party on the Golden Chariot, the next morning, we reached Humpy. When in Rome, do as the Romans. When in Humpy, get yourself a set of wheels. Humpy is the place where you get to romance with stones. Everywhere you shall find the ingredients for the magical charm. You have only one choice. Surrender to its charm. Wow, she's beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Now that's what I call a gigantic welcome. The empire of Vijayanagar, the city of victory. Once upon a time, it was at the zenith of its power. One of the most affluent kingdoms of the world. I've heard a lot about this enigmatic land. Notable temples, Dravidian and Nagra style architecture, and the kingdom that shall take you to the glorious past of Karnataka. That is what Hampi is all about. The famous stone chariot. Just a bit of trivia. The name, the golden chariot? Original inspiration. The crucible of civilization. Once the ancient capital of the Vijayanagar Empire. Time spent here in Hampi is is literally like a hypnotic journey through the pages of history. Amazing architecture, spell-binding sculptures, giant boulders, and above all, an awe-inspiring aura. These monuments actually hide more than they reveal, but the bond they do share is the passion, the optimism, and of course, the magnificent talent of these local artisans. If music be the food of love, these musical pillars pay the most flattering compliments to Humpy. It is believed that when the British came, they couldn't figure out how these pillars resonated. They decided to have them cut open, only to discover they were completely hollow. One of the other wonders of Humpy. A thing of beauty is joy forever. Sometimes ruins do not belong to a lost world. They are as rich as ever before. Is it just another world heritage site or the eighth wonder of the world? To debate with oneself, one has to visit Humpy. After that tiring but really exciting day in Humpy, what better way to unwind on board the golden chariot than to treat yourself to some serious pampering? This well-equipped spa of the golden chariot provides relaxation and wellness solutions on board, offering various massages and therapies in its royal ambience. Honestly, this is the life. Have you ever experienced unparalleled and encouraging expedition which even cuts through the boundaries of the expected? If not, then one should travel on the Golden Chariot. The itinerary is in itself a magic box which opens up new surprises day by day. Be it knowing a new culture or developing a new friendship with co-travelers. The entire expedition has been thoroughly planned. Arrivals and departures on time as per schedule. I wanted to thank the charioteer who's making it all possible. It's absolutely fantastic. It's the first time I've ever been inside a locomotive. And this is the man who's making it all happen. He's in charge, Mr. Pillay. 
Badami in the distance. This history-rich town, Badami, was once Chalukya dynasty's glorious past. These caves brought acclaim to Indian temple architecture. It's just unbelievable. I mean, the sheer size and proportion of this, carved out of a single boulder of sandstone, it just boggles the mind. During the reign of the Chalukyas, four rock-cut cave temples were built. One cave is dedicated to Lord Shiva, the other two to Lord Vishnu, and the fourth is dedicated to the Jain Tirthankaras. One can't help but gasp at the carvings strewn all across the cave walls, ceilings and pillars. One would have to visit Badami to believe that such an incredible piece of heritage lies hidden here. Bye. Just 22 kilometers from Badami, there is Patadikal with its glorious depiction of art and architecture. This place is really fascinating, huh? In the Chalukyan period, Patadikal was one of the great art centers. This place has many temples with their towering, ornately decorated gopurams or gateways, giving a holy feeling to the entire surrounding. So you know what's really interesting is that, you've, obviously since you've been walking around this complex, you've heard of King Vikramaditya. Yep. He also had a pair of twins as his wives. Mm. They decided to build two temples in his honor. Wow. One, the Virupaksha yeah. here on our right, yeah. and then this beautiful structure behind us which is the Malika Arjun. While reliving these cherished moments for a lifetime, I have to say goodbye to Karnataka. Tomorrow, this journey will end in Goa, which is going to be our last destination. It seems like yesterday that we've started our journey. Seven days have passed in the blink of an eye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is one journey I will remember forever. This single journey of the Golden Chariot gave me what ten others put together couldn't. I feel that I have surrendered through the most seductive land on earth. A million experiences to rediscover my senses.